A couple of months ago, Loot Crate sent me a email. They said, uh, hey, do you want one of these Loot Crates to open up on the channel and check it out? I said, yeah, sure, send one over. We'll see what it's all about. I've never opened one of these things before. I've always been kind of interested in getting like stuff in the mail randomly. You don't know what it's gonna be. I don't know, is it gonna be random tchotchkes or is it gonna be cool stuff? So it's down in the garage. We're gonna go get it. It's been sitting there for about two weeks. I've just been so busy that I haven't had a chance to open it. So uh, let's go get it. Who's a hungry boy, Finnegan? Are you a hungry boy? Are you a hungry boy? You want some lunch? Sit. Okay. Good boy. We use one of those, uh, I think it's like a puzzle bowl. Uh, it makes the dog eat a little slower. The dog, a little food focused this one is, so we use that to keep him from eating too fast, otherwise he throws up. So that's why it looks like a puzzle. I notice over here actually, the uh, counter's getting a little dirty. It's time to bring out the recycle bin. You can see we've been really big on the health food lately. We got the mini brownies, the uh, peanut butter wafers, the nutter butter, some Twinkies. I didn't actually know they made those anymore. Lunchables and a uh, make seven up yours cake as well as some jelly. Yeah, I've really been on a health kick lately. So why don't we take that out? Okay. Well, we got a bit of a problem here. So this is my wife's old car, and she doesn't actually use it anymore. We're kind of holding on to it for the kids. Uh, I should probably start this too while we're out here. Let's do that real quick too. So I'm gonna bring in the recycle bin. Y'all done with lunch, big boy? Y'all done with lunch? You wanna go outside? Come on. Run, Force! <laughs> Run! No? Just gonna... All right, I'm gonna close the door. Go pee. Let's just make sure I'm wearing acceptable recycling footwear. Check. Alright, let's wheel this sucker out of here. I noticed some uh, mouse drop-ins over by the recycle. And there's a, uh, let's say, a rodent containment device. <laughs> that needs a little more bait. So we're going to go find some of that and fill that trap up as well. Oh yeah, there it is. That ought to do it. So with this thing, you just put the uh, poison right there. And that keeps it away from your animals. And then you can kind of just stick it in the bottom. And that should last for a while. That way the mice and rodents get in, but no other animals can get poisoned by getting it. Pretty good. I just wanted to wash my hands after handling the rat poison. And uh, you know what? We got the Subaru out here. I kind of want to get that running. If you don't leave a get a car running, you know, every once in a while the battery dies and all sorts of bad stuff happens to cars that just sit. And honestly, my wife hasn't been driving that for a year now, so kind of falls on me to just keep it running. Uh, so I like to just let it idle for a little bit or drive it around the neighborhood. I don't know, once every couple of days. So let's do that. Let's go get the keys for that. This was for my seven-year anniversary. A little key tray. Made out of leather and wool. It's kind of neat. We'll grab that. I'm a little concerned that I didn't see a Mustang key in there. I don't know where the Mustang keys are. Hmm. This thing's awfully dirty. All the pollen lately. It's just been a mess. And then we got. Oh God, one of 
these things in here to protect the... Why? Why? This is... Get off of me. Stop it. Seriously? Fixed. All right. Let's start this thing up. Hopefully it starts right up. Perfect, look at that. Last thing I wanna be doing is buying batteries for this thing over and over. How many miles does this thing have on it? Just over 100,000. I'm pretty sure maintenance is due for it. it. Makes a lot of noise when you're driving it. I think that's the transmission. It's got one of those CVT transmissions. Woo, it is hot in here. My word, very dusty too. Yuck. The goal with this car was to uh, keep it, keep it for the kids. Uh, but the kids don't seem to want to go anywhere. I don't know what to do with it now. Maybe we should just sell it. I don't know. It's an okay car. So as I keep walking past the Mustang, I notice that it's, it's super dirty. And uh, you know, it's a brand new car, so I still got those feelings for it, if you know what I mean. So I think it might be time to wash this real quick. So let, let's do that. So I like to use the two bucket method for washing cars. And as you might be able to tell, I'm not sure really. Can you see that? That's just one bucket. There's not a bucket right here where there's normally another bucket. I think my wife maybe stole it to wash a horse or an owl or something. I don't know. So I'm gonna have to go get another bucket. All right, this thing's probably run long enough to get the battery juiced up for the day. Let me just get in here. All right, I gotta get a bucket and some washing the car supplies for the new car. So we might as well take a ride in the new car to do it. God, I love that sound. Back home, got to the auto parts store, realized I didn't bring a wallet or a phone or any way to pay. So let's try that again. Oh my God, it is shameful how dirty this car is. Shameful. Got some car wash supplies at the local auto parts store. More importantly though, we'll park next to me. It's a little three-wheeler, I think it's a Polaris slingshot. These things are cool, I wanna ride. I'm getting a little hungry, so I think there's a new smoothie shop near the house that I'm gonna check out. I'm not sure if it's open yet, but I'm hoping it is because we got a real lack of kind of healthy choices for lack of a better word, for lunches and stuff. So I'm hoping they're open. I think I fixed dents in my car with this. So I bought a couple of things, uh, a new wash pad. I like these micro microfiber wash pads to clean the car. They kind of trap the dirt in there and keep it off the paint. So hopefully you don't scratch your paint. Some detailing brushes for the interior. Uh, these come in handy. A new drying towel, also detailing, or also microfiber. These things work pretty well. And I used this last time, and I was pretty impressed with it. Uh, it's a harder to apply wax, and uh, it comes with a microfiber. Uh, but it lasted a long time, so it was a little more effort to put it on, but it lasted so long it didn't bother me too much. And then I just use this gold class car wash from Meguiar's. If you guys have any tips for washing a car without doing damage to the paint, let me know. I also use the two bucket method. So one is the wash bucket, and one is the rinse bucket. So I rinse off my rag in there, and then pick up new soap in here. I just like to put about a cap full. That's way too much, perfect. Always make sure you got the proper footwear for a car wash. 
Perfect. Well, it looks a lot better. I decided not to wax it because it was still beating up pretty good when I was washing it. And I didn't do the wheels because I'm lazy and that's a pain in the neck, but I'll definitely have to do them next time because I can see they're already starting to get a little dirty. But it looks not too bad. It's nice to have a freshy paint job. <laughs> Every time it, you wash it, it looks great. We fed the dog, we washed the car, we went and got car washing supplies, and we took out the recycles, but we finally made it to the loot box. But I'm a little tired, so I think we're gonna open this in episode two.